Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you so much for our time together. Tonight, Saturday and all day Sunday, Pastor Pagadora, our pastor from Cebu, is coming up. He's been with us for, oh my goodness, 25 years. Pastor Pagadora will be preaching all weekend in the services. By now, we're landing in Tel Aviv Airport and beginning our first day of touring. We're getting onto the buses and getting a little cold and chilly in the early morning air and heading out to the first place of Caesarea very famous place. We'll start sending you videos right away. And Daily Devotions, I believe, starting either Sunday or Monday, will be coming to you from Israel all week long. And then I'll be back with you next weekend. I'll be landing about midnight Friday night. I'm coming back before the group because we had a big renewal of vow services on Saturday and Sunday. Let me talk to you today about giving for just a minute. Sometimes I get very puzzled at how Christians can be so against the prosperity message. Maybe because you and I learned it together in times of poverty and we've never seen the message of prosperity displayed in avarice and greed and, you know, jet planes and silliness. We've, we've always seen prosperity as our needs met and an abundance left over for every good work. I mean, Yes, God has blessed us and we have our own homes now, many of us, and all the rest of us are moving into our homes and we have cars now and God, God has been good to us. But we've never seen, you and I, prosperity from the perspective of avarice and greed. So sometimes it surprises me when I, I hear people all upset about the prosperity message. And then you look around a little bit and you can begin to understand. Let me teach you a couple principles today. Out of our passage in Exodus chapter 25, the Lord said to Moses, tell the Israelites to bring me, and circle the word me, an offering. You, circle the word you, are to receive the offering for me, circle those words, from each man whose heart prompts him to give. Now there's a beautiful pattern of giving. You don't give to the pastor, you give to God. As a man of God or a woman of God, we only receive on God's behalf a seed that is sown. And again, it's not what we tell you to give, it's what your heart prompts you to give. And again, the offering is to be used for a designated purpose. The offering was being raised for the building of the tabernacle. Now, there's a few principles I want you to see here. First of all, every year during the Tithing Commitment Weekend, I teach you that you do not support the ministry. God does. You bring the tithe to God, and then God says, here's the deal. I'm going to bless you. You bring the tithe of the blessings to me, the tithe of the increase to me. You give that to me. That's mine. I will take what's mine, and I will support the ministry that takes care of you spiritually. Now, that is the way the ministry is to be supported. The ministry is not to be supported by pastors going around house to house asking for money or putting their name on websites and asking for donations and, you know, trying to become a sip sipchen. That's a politician, only worse. Going around trying to get money from rich people. That's not how the ministry is to be supported. The ministry is supported because you bring the tithe to God. Now, offerings, those offerings are to be brought to God. Yes, you receive them, God told Moses, but those offerings are for me. The offerings don't belong to the ministry. The offerings belong to God. And it's to be used for the purpose for which it was received. In this case, it was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness. This is the principle of designated offerings. Now, brothers and sisters, if we'll just keep those simple things clear in our mind, we don't give to a preacher. If a preacher is asking us to give him money personally, you don't give it. I'm sorry. You give to God. God, we sow the seed with God. God is the one who blesses, not a preacher. Secondly, the preacher only receives it on behalf of God. And then thirdly, the preacher is to use that money for the purpose in which it was given. Now, if we'll keep these little simple things clear, it's amazing how all the confusion about the prosperity message just kind of goes away because it's not preachers out raising money for themselves. It's preachers receiving for God, on behalf of God, offerings that the people's hearts have prompted them to give.